Hey guys and gals, you ready to go camping? Well, let's take a tour of my Lego campground for 2023. As you can see, I have a few of my custom campers and vehicles, and as well as picnic tables and barbecues, fire rings, and even those spruce trees that I made in my previous campground installment. And yes, this is actually supposed to be a continuation from the one that I built a few years ago. So. Remember the last campground was started over here. Well, this part plugs in. I don't have that piece anymore, so I tried my best to make these where they could be spliced together. And yeah, so you can recognize some of the campers. Like this is the economy travel trailer. We have that big, massive motorhome in the back, and we have the cozy camper over here. And <laughs> I managed to make everything fit and the size of this is a 64 by 96 studs so that's a lot of work and i was really surprised i had enough to make 16 spruce trees and there's tutorials for the spruce trees as well as the foliage campers vehicles whatever you see in here it's got a tutorial except for the terrain and if you're on my second channel you probably had seen me build the terrain up for this now you get to see what it looks like all done so you can see now everything is pretty much heavily foliaged and covered up and stuff like that. Now, I want to forewarn you that the remainder of this video is going to be hand cam. So it's going to be kind of wobbly and jittery and stuff. <laughs> I can't just show you one angle. And this thing's pretty massive. Matter of fact, I have even have outgrown my workbench. So i got to get that other one going. And one that I have in my shop, I can actually walk around completely to view this stuff, so it won't be against the wall. But yeah, uh, this took a, a good chunk of time and lots of, lots of energy to put together. Well, let's take a closer look. I wonder what they're staring at. Well, there's the deer. Even this gentleman on the bike is even mesmerized by the deer. He's like, oh... <laughs> There's something wild out here. So, this gentleman here is trying to start a fire. Looks like he's got it going. Let's hope it stays lit. And here's some of my camping accessories. You probably recognize these from a few tutorials, as well as the sand green pickup, the economy travel trailer, and yeah, and there's a little golf cart, and cozy camper. Now I'm going to try my best not to wiggle things around, but as you can see this, like someone had made a mess in that campsite. That's what happens when you don't pick up your stuff. The squirrels are going to take care of it for you. We'll see if you can get a better shot there. And I'm hoping that I'm not tripping over the cord and things come flying off. So there's a lot of foliage pieces in here. This took a lot of time. Here's the fancy motorhome. I think it's the deluxe. And I even put the little red sports car in there too. And yeah, so let's see here. And it is early in the morning. It's like 2.30 in the morning, although you wouldn't be able to tell on here. And that right there is probably my favorite shot. If that wall was blue, it'd look pretty cool. <laughs> you can see right down there, all the way down to the other, to the cozy camper. And yeah, if you recognize your sig fig in there, let's see if I can point these out without tripping over the cord. It's going to be a little difficult. So here we have Josh Bricks and Angry Dragon 114. And at the table, we got the big stash, MLG, Texas 132, and myself. So that was fun to put together. <laughs> and I can hear this thing creaking and stuff. It's just, it's massive. Like I said, it's 64 by 96 studs. And just imagine if I had that other piece over here, it would fill in this area. Well, 
Someday I may be able to build a bigger scene, but most people are interested in city builds. Well, here's a little tidbit about me. This is the type of stuff I like building is backcountry stuff. Campgrounds. And yeah. Now this is the type of things I like to build. <laughs> and I do miss camping a lot. A lot of people in my area don't like camping much, but just looking at this alone, I kind of wish I was minifigure scale just to take a stroll through here. Now, one thing I was running out of is these little stud flowers. You know, I always thought, oh, I have enough of those. I have a big drawer full of them, yeah. Well, I was running low on them. I need to order probably about a hundred or two more. <laughs> Yeah, looks really cool. I don't know how good this is going to turn out, but there's that deer. Let me view the footage before I publish this. But nonetheless, though, I'm really happy with this. This is really nice. I just wish I can shrink down and take an exploration of this. But someday maybe we will. Now, what am I going to do? Well, I already have the terrain backed up in stud. Now I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to catalog every piece in this, so I can make a preserved copy of this before I dismantle it. But don't worry, I'm gonna keep it together for a few weeks, and then yeah, I'll be parted out for another mock. So tell me what you think of my campground mock. Well, this guy here seems to enjoy. It. He's enjoying the deer, but. Yeah, I enjoy putting this together. This was fun. Well, sadly, my vacation's going to come to an end. Guess what I have to do? I'm going to have to do more reviews. <laughs> well, maybe they're already being published up on the channel now, but... Yeah, not too bad. I really do like doing these type of builds. It's just very relaxing.